Hello everyone, this is Unseen Poetry, Section C of your English Language Paper 2, uh, and this is the June 2017 paper focusing on the poems Autumn and Today. First thing that you should do, read the question, read the poem. Question, in autumn, how does the poet present the effects of the season of autumn? Autumn. Autumn arrives like an experienced robber grabbing the green stuff, then cunningly covering his tracks with a deep multitude of colourful distractions. And the wind, the wind is his accomplice, putting an air of chaos into the careful diversions so branches shake and dead leaves are suddenly blown in the faces of inquisitive strangers. The theft chills the world, changes the temper of the earth till the normally placid sky glows red with a quiet rage. Right. First thing that you should do, I'm going to say the same things as I said in the other video on Unseen Poetry, is write down what you think the effects of the season of autumn are. So what you should do as you read through the poem again, a second time, is think to yourself, effects, effects, effects. What does autumn do? What does it leave people with? Autumn arrives like an experienced robber grabbing the green stuff. Right, so it's a thief. And what do thieves do? They steal things. And when people steal things, what's the effect of it? Other people are left heartbroken. What's the green stuff? Leaves. Perhaps a metaphor for money. Uh, in America, we might, you know, money is literally green, of course. Then what does the, the robber, the thief, the genius that is um, Autumn do? It cunningly covers his tracks with a deep multitude of colourful distractions. So what does Autumn do? That's right. It robs our lovely green leaves and, le and, and leaves behind red and brown and orange and yellow ones. And we go, oh, how lovely are these red and brown and orange leaves? And then they die and we're like, and they look like idiots. So what's the effect of the season of autumn? It removes beauty by being cunning, by being duplicitous. Now, hopefully I haven't said anything so far that you've gone, oh, well, I would never would have thought of that for myself. Instead, what you should be thinking is, yes, that's exactly what I thought. The challenge is everyone says the same thing. So how do you say it a bit better? And so rather than tricks, we refer to the duplicitous nature of autumn. We don't want to say cunning because cunning's in the poem. We have to use our vocabularies. So what are the colourful distractions? Red, orange, brown leaves. If I want to identify method, which is less important, but, but useful all the same, I recognise that green stuff is perhaps a, a metaphor for money. I don't have an end stop. And on line seven, and the wind. Oh, the wind. The wind is his accomplice. So note that I love that little repetition of it. It's like, oh, can you can you believe it? And the wind. The wind is his accomplice. That's used blue. Red means method. Captures the sort of disbelief. The wind is his accomplice. The robin to his Batman if you pardon the pun. Putting on an air of chaos into the careful diversions so that branches shake and dead leaves are suddenly blown into the faces of inquisitive strangers. So autumn arrives and it's a thief and autumn removes the beauty from the natural world. And how does it do it? With his mate, the wind. And we go, oh, whew. You know, isn't it windy? Isn't it windy as the wind blows us and all of a sudden it's gone? 
So what's the effect of the season of autumn? Not only does it remove beauty, but, and it is duplicitous, If we look at, just focus on this line here, sorry. And dead leaves are suddenly blown in the faces of inquisitive strangers. And these things should be connected now because the duplicitous nature of autumn and his accomplice, his cunning friend, the wind, helps to attack, to assault and misdirect us. It's here perhaps that we begin to see the effect of autumn most explicitly, however. The theft chills the world. It changes the temper of the earth. Now, on a very sort of literal level, what's the effect of autumn? It makes things turn cold. The temper of the earth is altered, so it's less warm. But what else does temper mean? Um, it's not just about like literal temperature here. We have to think here, well, what's the metaphor? Or what is the symbol? What's the figurative meaning? What is the figurative meaning here? Because the last couple of lines of the poem, we're told, it changes the temper of the earth till the normally placid, the normally calm, the normally moderate, the normally sort of friendly sky glows red with a quiet rage. So the challenge of unseen poetry is really recognizing which parts of the poems that are put in front of you are, in actually, are actually enabling you to answer the question effectively. And it's the last part of the poem. And that's where reading really, really carefully comes into it. Therefore, when one writes about it, do we ignore all of this stuff? No, no, we don't. But we prioritize our response on these lines here, I think, because that's where the effect of the season is best shown. Now, then when we come to write about it, we need to ensure that we answer the question. We don't just write down everything that we think about the poem because there isn't enough time. Uh, the guidance is sort of like 20 minutes, uh, sorry, 30 minutes there or thereabouts. You can't write everything that you think in 30 minutes. So therefore, what we have to do is answer the question. And we have to make our writing seem better because if everyone's going to say the same thing, it's the way that we articulate it, the way that we express it, that, that matters most. So I'm going to focus on this final bullet point here. Bold illustrates that the cunning of autumn literally makes things turn cold. which is perhaps symbolic, which is perhaps a metaphor for, which is perhaps figuratively articulating, doesn't matter really which one of those you do it, it's all metaphor really. But what does it illustrate? Well, let's put it this way. If it literally turns cold, what does it mean if a person is a cold person? What does it mean if the world is cold beyond you know, the temperature itself? 
what does it mean if the sky is now glowing red with anger? I think what we are being encouraged to see is that the effect of autumn is that it, it sort of alters humanity. It makes what was once good, what was once kind, which was once what was once um, sort of beautiful and gracious uh, has been stripped of its beauty, of its kindness, of its goodness. Maybe that's the sort of figurative, symbolic, metaphorical meaning of this. Bold illustrates that the cunning of autumn literally makes things turn cold, which is perhaps symbolic of How humans, if you prefer, how humans are left, how they are rendered less welcoming, less beautiful, less. Now I'll put a full stop there. Because now what we want to do is, I think, focus on, well, what does temper mean? It literally means whatever you think it means, but it figuratively suggests. The sky, why did it used to be placid? Why was it normally placid? And why is it now glowing red with a quiet rage? What do you think the symbolic, metaphorical, figurative meaning of it is? So a good strategy for hunting poetry, I think, is Answer the question as best you possibly can. You know, focus almost relentlessly just on what it's asking you to do, and then consider the literal meaning of it, and then the metaphorical meaning of it. Figure, uh, sorry, metaphor, metaphorical language, figurative language, symbolic language. Uh, I'm using them more or less in place of one another, so that they're reasonably interchangeable. There are, of course, slight differences between them, which is why they have different words. But in this instance, it's all a case of demonstrating how it is representing something bigger. That's the first poem, uh, Autumn. Hopefully you found the video useful. Have a go at the question, and by all means, use that to start. But what I think you should do is make it better, still make it yours. That's it for now. Thanks very much.